Rizal's Education During the time of Rizal, education was characterized by the four R.S., reading, writing, arithmetic, and religion. Rizal, although he was born a physical weakling, became an intellectual giant. His first teacher was his mother. At the age of three, Rizal learned to recite the alphabet and prayers. Jose had private tutors to teach him lessons at home, Maestro Celestino, then Maestro Lucas Padua. Leon Minroy, who is a former classmate of Jose's father, taught the young boy Spanish and Latin. When Leon Minroy died, Jose's parents decided to send him to a private school in Benin. When Jose left for Benin, he was accompanied by his brother Paisano. Jose lodged at his aunt's house in Benin. Rizal's school in Benin was in the house of his teacher, Maestro Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Pedro, the teacher's son, was not very fond of Jose. He bullied Rizal, and this led to Jose's first school brawl. Jose also took painting lessons in Benin, and was taught by an old painter named Juancho, his school teacher's father in law. He was the best student in school, beating all the Benin boys. His schooling in Benin lasted for a year and a half. Jose was sent to Manila four months after the friars Gomez, Burgos, and Zamora were martyred. He studied in the Tenil Municipal, which was under the supervision of the Spanish Jesuit priests. The Tenil Municipal was later named Tenio de Manila. Jose's father had intended him to study at Letran, but changed his mind and sent him to the Tenio instead. At first, the college registrar, Father Magin Ferrando, refused Jose's admission because the boy had registered late and he was sickly and small for his age. Rizal was nonetheless admitted to the Tenio with the help and intercession of Manuel Zeres Burgos, a nephew of the martyred priest. Jose adopted the name Rizal to escape suspicion. His brother Paisano had used the name Mercado, and was now known to the authorities as Jose Burgos' favorite student. The quality of education in Latino was more advanced. Students were divided into two groups, the Roman Empire, borders, and the Carthaginian Empire, non-borders. The best student in each empire was the emperor, followed by the tribune, then the decurion, the centurion, and the fifth best was the standard bearer. The Romans had red banners, and the Carthaginians had blue. To improve his Spanish, Jose took private lessons in Santa Isabel College at noon breaks. Rizal's first favorite novel was The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Jose considered Father Sanchez as his best professor in the Tineo. He obtained the highest grades in all subjects and graduated with the highest honors. After finishing one year in philosophy and letters, Jose transferred to the medical course. He enrolled in UST for two reasons, one, to appease his father, and, two, because he was still unsure of what career he should pursue. Rizal took up medicine following the advice of Father Pablo Ramon, the rector of the Tineo. He also did so to be able to cure his mother's growing blindness. He finished a surveying course in the Tineo but was not given the title of surveyor because he was still seventeen and underage. After finishing four years in the medical course, Rizal decided to study in Spain. He did not seek his parents' permission for this, because he knew they would not allow it. Early Poems In a literary contest conducted by the Artistic Literary Lyceum for students he won the first prize. His winning poem was A La Juventud Filipina, to the Filipino youth. His prize was a silver pen, feathered shaped and decorated with a gold ribbon. In another literary contest conducted by the same society dedicated to the commemoration of the anniversary of the death of Cervantes, for students and professionals alike, and for Spaniards and Indios, Rizal won again the first prize. His winning work was at this time a prowse, El Conchjo de las Dioses, the Council of the Gods. His prize was a gold ring on which engraved the bust of Cervantes. But because he was an Indio, the Spanish community in Manila was against the decision of the Board of Judges, Rizal decided to continue his studies in Europe. He left Manila in May 3, 1882 aboard the steamship Salvadora to Singapore, there, he aboard a French ship Gimna on May 11 that would take him to Europe. Gimna reached Colombo, Ceylon, Sri Lanka, in May 17, the next stop was in Aden, Yemen, 
then through the Suez Canal where they reached the city of Suez and Port Said. From Port Said, the Gymna proceeded on its way to Europe. On June 11, Rizal reached Naples, Italy and arrived in Marseille, France on June 12. From Marseille, Rizal took a steam train and arrived in Barcelona, Spain on June 16. Rizal stayed in Barcelona for five months until he moved to Madrid, Spain for his studies. Madrid, Spain, studied medicine at the Universidad Central de Madrid where he earned the degree, Licentiate in Medicine. He also attended medical lectures at the University of Paris and the University of Heidelberg. In Berlin, he was inducted as a member of the Berlin Ethnological Society and the Berlin Anthropological Society under the patronage of the famous pathologist Rudolf Fierko. Following custom, he delivered an address in German in April 1887 before the Anthropological Society on the orthography and structure of the Tagalog language. He left Heidelberg a poem, A Los Flores del Heidelberg which was both an evocation and a prayer for the welfare of his native land and the unification of common values between East and West. At Heidelberg, the 25-year-old Drizal, completed in 1887 his eye specialization under the renowned professor, Otto Becker. There he used the newly invented ophthalmoscope, invented by Hermann von Helmholtz, to later operate on his own mother's eye. From Heidelberg, Rizal wrote his parents, I spend half of the day in the study of German and the other half, in the diseases of the eye. Twice a week, I go to the Beer Brewery, or Beer Hall, to speak German with my student friends. He lived in a Karlstrasse boarding house then moved to Ludwigsplatz. There, he met Reverend Karl Ulmer and stayed with them in Wilhelmsfeld, where he wrote the last few chapters of Nalai Meet Angier, Rizal was a polymath skilled in both science and the arts. He painted, sketched, and made sculptures and wood carving. He was a prolific poet, essayist, and novelist whose most famous works were his two novels, Nilai Meet Angier and its sequel, El Filibusterismo. These social commentaries during the Spanish colonization of the country formed the nucleus of literature that inspired peaceful reformists and armed revolutionaries alike. Rizal was also a polyglot conversant in 22 languages, 